Hello, my name is Che Song Lee, and I am a professor of English literature at Busan National University in the city of Busan, the southernmost part of Korean Peninsula, and also the second largest city in South Korea. Uh, I've already got the eight different pieces 30 minutes long each on my YouTube channel, but uh, this is actually the first video that I introduce myself and uh, my books and my channel, the ultimate uh, purpose of my doing this uh, YouTube experience and so on. I am originally from South Korea, but uh, studied and obtained all my university degrees there at SUNY Buffalo, which is short for State University of New York at Buffalo. And um, uh, after I got my PhD degree, I, I of course started uh, as the freshman of the undergraduate program. And then I got a BA and PhD there at SUNY Buffalo and taught there just for a while and came back to South Korea. And it was like uh, 24 or five years ago already. So I've always been teaching English literature, uh, specializing uh, literary criticism, uh, especially postmodern ethics, I would call it. Um, so for such a long time, but uh, I've delivered so many presentations in the United States at different uh, co uh, conferences all around the United States. Uh, Korea is right here. Here. Um, and Busan is right at the southernmost part. Um, what I was always thinking about fundamentally when I was studying at SUNY Buffalo and also teaching uh there and also i have taught uh as suny albany and i was when i was teaching there and also um here for so many years as pusan national university was the most uh fundamental thing the of the fundamental thing of, uh, of human life in itself. That is, for me, the spirituality. The spirituality doesn't only mean just Christian spirituality, but spirituality of Buddhism. And as we know, uh, and it's uh, commonly known throughout the whole world, like 20 to 25 percent of the whole population of the United States meditate now, and they are very much interested in Eckhart Tolle, uh, Adi Ashanti, um, Byron Katie's teachings, and they follow it. But um, they are not ac actually Buddhists but they are very much interested in Buddhist teaching. And also the secondly, the, uh, fundamental thing is uh, uh, philosophy. The Western philosophy all the time when I was in the United States, Western philosophy, is kind of ignored by these spiritual people and spiritual leaders or spiritual teachers, but I would not think so. They don't really they, uh, talk about uh, philosophy or uh, metaphysics 
or uh, or some ideas in the work of arts and so on. But actually, uh, the philosophy or uh, Western metaphysics or uh, Eastern metaphysics included too is very uh, fundamental for the study of human mind and it's a mind study, of course, and it's also systematic. So it could be a very great help for uh, the study of mind. And also the last one is the category of art, especially literature and film. Uh, I've already talked about some of Hamlet and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in a hat, but art is the sort of like a conglomeration or, or brief story uh, and mood got together um, in one form and it shows human life, the essence of human life as, as a substance or substantiality of human life in itself, which is over and beyond phenomena. I'm not talking about just human life, everyday life, but what is beneath or beyond or behind the phenomena, all the cultural phenomena and, and political phenomena and everyday life uh, events and so on and so forth, wars included and so on. So uh, the, those three parts will be the main parts that I'm going to use for my video discussion for uh, the future with you. And I would like to use my text, uh, my te I mean, my books uh, as the text of this YouTube, uh, I wouldn't call it teaching, but discussion. First one is the book published in the United States uh, is called Postmodern Ethics, Antinous and Literature, and the subtitle is Encounters Between East and West. It's published by Lexington uh, uh, Publishers uh, books. And um, I was awarded the grand, grand prize of Won Hyo Awards in South Korea, which is the, um, I would say, most prestigious awards in Buddhist society here in South Korea. And the reason why I'm talking about is that the, I'm deeply interested in Buddhist uh, not Buddhism as a religion, but Buddhist philosophy. And I think uh, po uh, after the long history of uh, uh, metaphysics, postmodernism emerged after the Second World War and postmodernism, post-structuralism and so on. And uh, the ethics, which I call postmodern ethics. And, but uh, now the next stage, I would say, for uh, not only Western people, but the whole people of the whole world is to go on to the uh, Buddhist uh, sort of philosophy and it's not only philosophy but mind study so the second book published uh in june this year 2021 was this book awakening through literature and film and the subtitle is into the dancing light so uh in the united kingdom this time and 
so many philosophers and so many literary books were discussed here in these both books, but um, uh, this book is a little bit more academic and this is a book that is more understandable, in other words, a little bit easier. So I'm going to deal with this uh, or without this, just go to uh, talk about something on the deeper level of life in itself and the whole world. Um, and this is going to be very interesting YouTube video experience for me. And I was sincerely hope this would be a small help uh, for you. Thank you very much.